Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to work four rounds of just one double crochet in each stitch around, but we need to make sure that we change to the the green when we get to the green and make sure we join it at the end of the last stitch of the previous colour. So all we do for these four rounds is chain two as normal, then work our one double crochet in the next 16 like we did before. Let's go into that first stitch and do one double crochet in the next 16. So one, two, 15, and then when we get to the last one, just putting my tail in slightly, when we get to number 16, we need to remember to join the green. So we go in as normal, do half of our double crochet. So then we stop and don't yarn over with the black, we yarn over with the green. Straight that over, just hold it that side, bring that through instead. And that creates a nice clean join and we're working with our green. And then we do one double crochet in the next um, 16 like we did before but this time we're not doing a jagged edge we don't need to do our fringe effect we can just work into the normal stitches as normal like that so one just go into those stitches as normal okay so that's one double crochet in the next 16 14 Let's go up to the last ones, 14, 15. So as you can see, I've just been working them into the top stitches as normal. Then on the last one, number 16, we need to remember to join our black. So we yarn over, pull for the first two with our green, but before we finish, we yarn over. First of all, I need to cut my black. And then drape over the black instead and bring that through so we're now working with our black and got a nice clean color change and then we just do one double crochet in the last 17 stitches work as normal okay back to the beginning okay so just coming up to the end of that round yeah it's all gone wrong and then we just slip stitch into the top of our one, two, two chain again to join the round. So you want to repeat this round that we've just done, working the joining the green and the black at the end of the last stitch, so you get a nice smooth colour change. And you want to repeat that round that we've just done here uh, another three times. So one, two, three. Okay, so another three times of just chaining two, one double crochet in each stitch around, but changing to green on the last, so on the 16th stitch, and then changing back to black on the last 16th stitch of the green. Okay, just like what you've just done. So I'm going to do that, and then I shall come back. Okay, so I'm just finishing up the third round. So you should have done three more rounds of one double crochet in each stitch around making sure to chain to at the beginning and slip stitch at the end and making sure to change to the green and black where you need to. So what we're doing now on the last, on the third round, the last round, when we're slip stitching in the top of our two chain, what we want to do is put our hook in as normal into that second chain. But instead of bringing the black through, we're actually going to bring the green through because we're going to work the last round in green. So to get a nice fluid colour change, we're going to bring the green through, somehow, <laughs> it doesn't want to come through, bring that green through and then slip stitch with the green instead. And what we can do now is fasten off our black and put it away. Uh, another little thing I wanted to just warn you about, if I just bring that up gently, is if we go to a color change here. If you pull your tail ends too tight, you can see two stitches there. But if you pull your tail end too tight like that, a stitch can disappear. That first green stitch has disappeared, so your stitch count may go funny. So do make sure that you don't pull your tail ends too tight to make sure you keep that stitch visible, otherwise you'll disappear. 
Okay, so we should still have a stitch count of 50 and we should now be working with our green. So let's just bring that down. We're going to do one more round and this is the round where we do the ear flaps. And to do that in our green, we're going to chain two, one and two. And we're going to work one double crochet in the next 17 stitches this time. So we're going to go into that first stitch. I'm going to do one double crochet in the next 17. So there's one, two, 16, and then 17. And 17 should land at the beginning of your green. So one double crochet in the next 17, and it should end where the colour change happens. Then what we want to do is we want to make our ear flap. And to do that, we'll just literally going to turn. So just turn your work. We're going to work in the opposite direction. We're not going to chain one or anything like that. We're just literally going to turn. And then putting our hook into the first stitch, we're going to double crochet two stitches together. So we go into the first stitch, bring the yarn through, yarn over, pull through two loops as if doing a normal double crochet, but then we stop yarn over again and then we go into the second stitch bring the yarn through, so you've got four loops yarn over, pull through two loops, so you've got three loops and yarn over, pull through all three that double crochets two stitches together then we're going to do one double crochet in the next six the next six, so one two three, four, five, and six. So one double crochet in the next six, and then we want to double crochet two together again. So we yarn over, go into the next stitch, bring the yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, then stop, yarn over to the last stitch, bring the yarn through, four loops, yarn over, pull through two, three loops, yarn over, pull through all three, to double crochet two together. Then we're going to turn, so don't chain one or anything like that, we're just literally going to turn, and then we're going to double crochet two together again, so we yarn over, go into the first stitch, bring the yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, stop, yarn over to the next stitch, bring the yarn through, four loops, yarn over, pull through two, three loops, yarn over, pull through all three. Then we do one double crochet in the next four this time. So one, two, three, and four. And that will leave you with two stitches, one and two, just hidden on the end there. And we want to double crochet those two together as well. So we go into the next one, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, stop, yarn over to the last one, pull through four loops, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, get three loops, yarn over, pull through all three, that double crochets two together. Then we turn again, and then we double crochet the first two together, so yarn over to the first stitch, pull through two, stop. Yarn over to the next stitch, pull through two, pull through all three. Then we do one double crochet in the next two. One, and two. That leaves us with one, two stitches left, and we double crochet those two together as well. Stop. Yarn over to the last stitch. Pull through, pull through two, pull through all three. Then we turn, and you should have four stitches remaining, and we're just going to double crochet the first two together. Two stop, come over to the next stitch. Pull through two, pull through all three. Double crochet those two together, then double crochet the last two together.
like so. And there you've got your little ear flap. And what we want to do now is we just want to slip stitch down this edge to get us back down to our green again. So work about six slip stitches to about here. You don't want to go right to the bottom. You want to slip stitch to about here as neatly as you can. And it works out to be about six. So I'm just going to go into some various bits of yarn as neatly as I can and just work some slip stitches. So I've got the background noise. <laughs> It's quite fiddly. I like to get them near the edge but not too near the edge. Try and keep I keep them loose as well because I don't want it to tighten up. So I've done about four five. Yeah, it works out to be about six. slip stitches down the edge there. Just make sure you haven't done it too tight. Then you get to about this edge, to about here, this far up, and then you want to work your double crochets back into the normal part of the hat. And we want to do one double crochet in the next 24. So what we do, that was the last one we worked into, so then we go back, and we go back, we go into the next one from a height of there so they look flush like so. And you want to do one double crochet in the next 24 so that's one, two, three, 23 and 24. So you've done one double crochet in the next 24 and it takes you quite well into the black so you don't stop here with this colour change you go quite into the black and there's reason for that is because we all want to face in the right direction to finish off our hat my ball yarn just fell on the floor great <laughs> then we want to repeat the uh, ear flap again so what we're going to do is we're going to turn and then we're going to double crochet the first two together let's find that first one and then stop yarn over Go into the next one, pull through two, pull through three. Then we do one double crochet in the next six, so exactly the same as before. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so one double crochet in the next six. Then we double crochet two together. Let's go into the next stitch, pull through two, stop, yarn over to the next stitch, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. Then we turn and again double crochet two together. Let's go into that first one. The next one double crochet those two together and then one double crochet in the next four one two three and four then it leaves you with two and we double crochet those two together So then turn, double crochet the first two together, Oops. then one double crochet in the next two this time, one and two, then we double crochet the last two together. Yarn over into the last stitch. And then that leaves us with four stitches and then we turn 
as you can see we're facing in the right direction and we're going to double crochet the first two together <laughs> like so then double crochet the last two together Then we do the same as before, we slip stitch back down to the top of the double crochet, so not right to the bottom. Works out to be about five slip stitches. Work them as neatly as you can, as best you can. You can probably do this a bit neater than me if you've got more time. Works out to be about six, so. Okay, so we've reached the top of the double crochet. And then you just finish up with one double crochet, working back into the main part of the hat here. Like so, and then you just finish up with one double crochet in the last few stitches. And then slip stitch to join. Okay, so there's the last one. So I've just done one double crochet in the last few stitches back on the main hat. Then we slip stitch in the top of our two chain. If you want to, or because it doesn't really matter, you can skip fiddling around with that and go straight into the first stitch and do a slip stitch if you want to, if it's quicker, because we have finished. So cut our yarn, pull that through. And then what you want to do now is to tie in all these color change edges here so I'm going to tie all these in and then come back but you can see the main part of the hat is ready so we're just going to finish up with a um, the scar in this video and then in part three I will show you how to do some bolts which we're going to put into the ear flaps okay so I'm going to tie in all my ends and then I'll come back just quickly show you how to tie in your ends I've turned my hat inside out and as you can see there's a lot of a lot of ends and you can pull them nice and tight now because we've finished working the stitches so you can pull them nice and tight and then all I do is I literally just in the back of the hat sew through a few stitches make it nice, nice and tight then go somewhere else I tend to keep the colours sew for the similar colours so green for green and black for black and then I just go back in sort of the opposite direction a bit like so and then just trim off the excess and that usually does the trick okay so I'll do that for all the other ones and come back okay so I finished tying in all my ends nice and neat and I've tied the green ones in the green side and the black ones the black side so all that's left to do now apart from the the bolts at the side uh, is the traditional um, scar that he has on his forehead and what I've done is I've taken a strand of the black yarn and I've split it so I'm using a thinner bit of our super chunky yarn I just want something a little bit thinner because if I sew with the uh, the super bulk it'll be a bit thick so I've just threaded that onto my yarn needle and then you just sew a scar basically so let's I'm going to make this up as I go along leave a little bit of tail for sewing in at the end I'm probably gonna just go up to about there and then let's go over slightly at an angle to about there and then come back down to there so there's our main line and then what I'm gonna do is just work some stitches literally as if we've sewn him back together bless him did you say Frankenstein's a good guy or a bad guy <laughs> it's an interesting question going in at the back making little stitches 
The great thing is, it doesn't have to be perfect because Frankenstein is far from a perfect human being. He's all a bit haphazardly sewn together. So there we go, I'm happy with that. And then all I'm going to do on the inside is, let's, uh, if I sew this gently over to the middle without coming out on the front, like so. And then the same with the, the other end. Well, it's a good idea to leave a bit of a tail. And so that to the middle as well without coming out on the front. Like so, check that. Yep, that's okay. And then I've got the two pieces in the middle and I can just tie them in a double knot then. I want to pull too tightly though. distort our sewing. And then I'm just going to trim the excess. And there we go. There's his little scar. <laughs> so this is for size um, for ages about three to ten years old. And um, join me in part three where I'm going to show you how to make some bolts to go on the ear flaps. <laughs> Until then I shall see you soon some more crochet fun. Bye guys.